Now to the counties. The recently launched recognition of prior learning policy will promote technical skills and boost employment opportunities. Principal Secretary for Technical and Vocational Education Training, Dr. S. Deb Warrior, said formalizing skills previously acquired through experience will open doors for artisans seeking employment in both government and private sector. This and more from a county news roundup. Speaking at a graduation ceremony at Thika Technical Training Institute, where over 3,000 students were awarded diplomas and certificates in various technical fields, Technical and Vocational Education Training Principal Secretary said the initiative underscores the government's commitment to prioritizing artisan jobs as part of its bottom-up approach to economic empowerment. Here we are looking for what you can do. And we want to train our young people to do. And therefore, we want to request you. And please tell the other Kenyans who have certificates but are not certified to walk into our institutions. Meanwhile, the Kenya Forest Services has begun embracing technology in conservation of forests in Kilifi County to detect illegal activities or any fire incidents. Miaka ya nyuma tulikuwa tunafanya mambo ya mbishitu kutumia mbinu ambazo ni za ki, si za ki, ki taalamu. Imefika wakati sasa inabidi tuweze kwa kisha kwamba tunatumia mbinu ambazo ni za ki taalamu. Elsewhere, real estate players in Nakuru County have rejected a proposed legislation that seeks to compel land buying companies to deposit 500 million before registration and an annual fee of 100,000. We need a repealing of this particular bill. Chinese are coming here and making all the money. People are coming from Somalia and they are coming here and making all the money. So why should we be punitive to our own investors by introducing hefty, hefty amounts? Who will afford 500 million to start a business? In Narok, a campaign to save pastoralist girls from early marriage and female genital mutilation has received a shot in the arm after a special academy opened its doors in Masai Mara. Masai people, the parents, the community are very grateful. You see, because they didn't have a future, most of them. Finally, it was jubilation at St. Anne Leoki Girls Secondary School in Kembo County as they received their first ever school bus courtesy of well wishers. We are also embarking on going green because we have started the solar lighting program, uh, the solar pumping of the water, and also whereby we'll be able to cook in our kitchen using the green energy. Jacqueline Masharia for Sunday Express.